So basically what we would start with is just a thin layer of mascara to coat the eyelashes first. She already has on a layer of mascara from earlier this morning, so we're just going to go ahead and leave it as that because we don't want it to get too thick and So we're going to take the lashes out of the container. Basically we always want to take it off from the outer edge because you don't want to ruin the inner part of the lash. So from the outer edge we're going to peel it off. And then we're first going to measure it on the eye. So I'm going to have you look down, but don't close. So we are going to have to cut these down. Basically, you want to start where your natural lash would start, and then finish where your natural lashes end. So we're going to cut these down just a little bit on her. So which, which end do you cut? You always want to cut from the outer end. Never okay. cut from the inner end. So we're going to cut off about... I generally save the part that I cut off because you can do little fun things with them, like on the bottom, which is doing like a bunch of little things. The outer? The outer? Okay, the outside. Oh, so the one not here, the outside right side. Mm -hmm. So I'll have you look down again. I'm just going to measure them again, make sure they're good. So these now are perfectly fit for her eye. Then we're going to take the duo blue. Duo is definitely the most popular. It's a very good blue. Uh, it's most commonly used on the market as well. So basically, duo does come out pretty fast out of the container. So what I generally do is I'll pinch it so it comes out just a little bit. And then I kind of release so there's just a little bit on the rim. So then we're just going to put a little bit of blue on there. So you kind of want to do a little bit more on the outer edges. And then Duo does have a little bit of dry time, so I'll usually just kind of fan it dry a little bit. You can actually see when it starts to change colors from the white, and then it'll turn a little bit gray. So generally when I fan it, then I just wait about like 20 seconds before I go to apply. And it does start to turn color, so you can see a difference in it. It starts to turn more clear, too. So you're waiting for it to dry before you put it on? You want it to get to a tacky form. You don't want it to dry completely, but you want it to dry just a little bit. And how many seconds? 20. Yeah, I'd say about 20 as I'm fanning. So have you looked down? I'm going to start in the beginning of her eye and then just lay it down flat. So again, I'm going to start where her natural lashes begin, and then we're just going to lay it down. Don't close your eye all the way though. So the reason why I don't have them close their eyes all the way is because we don't want your eyes to glue together. Oh, good point. I would spray your eyes a little bit. So the duo does dry clear once it dries completely. In the beginning they are gonna feel a little awkward just because you now have something on your eyes. Once we put the other one on, and then we're gonna marry them together and pinch them and everything, which will create more lashes. Because they're not really comfortable right now. No. Okay, that's good enough. They generally to never usually are. So now that we have both lashes on, we're gonna do another thin coat of mascara, and then we're gonna pinch them together. So I'm gonna have them look straight ahead. 